Welcome back everybody to another toy review. We are going over the latest craze in the Glios fandom, the Mangalores. Throughout time, people have asked, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Maybe it was a Manglor, like Manglor Demon. You can pretend to hatch Manglor Dragon and Manglor Lizard too, each sold separately in a make-believe egg. You can stretch them, squash them, take them apart. They'll return almost like new to their original forms. So if you want to hatch up some fun, you can crack open a Manglor. The Manglors, Manglor Demon, Manglor Dragon, and Manglor Lizard, each sold separately from Ideal. I've been super excited since this drop was announced. The figures look absolutely amazing. I've been super jealous of everybody getting their packages in very early. And uh, I just got mine in yesterday, so I am very stoked to open up this one. I got one of each thing from the entire drop, so we're gonna check them all out and I'll go over all the details for you guys as well. Now the Megalores originally are a toy that was made way back in the day. They were kind of like the Stretch Armstrong monster version. Uh, they always came in this kind of unique egg that you could crack open, pull them out, stretch them, break them apart, put them back together. Kind of like Glaus figures, except these guys are not as stretchable. They also had the Manglord action figure, which was a part of their line, but nothing with the Manglors has been seen for, I believe it's 40 years or so. So Toyfinity brought them back and brought them back with a pretty big bang. I got to give Toyfinity some credit. Way to bring an old IP back into the new age in a completely different and unique way that totally fits with a complete overhaul of the look and redesign. And as you'll see, I think they really nailed this one. I haven't bought anything personally from Toyfinity yet, even with all the Glios I have. Maybe I have one figure from them, but I haven't bought direct from their store yet. They haven't had a drop in a little while. I've seen their little Mortals figures around on like eBay and such, but I haven't picked any of them up yet. Those were included in this drop, so we will be going over those little figures as well. So if you guys do enjoy anything you see here, make sure to go support Toyfinity. I'll leave a link to their store and everything as well. I will preface by saying the launch for the Mangalores was a huge success for them. They sold out like crazy. I'm pretty sure the, the standard Mangalord uh, sold out with within like a couple hours or an hour or something like that. It, it was crazy. They had a couple figures, but those were gone within like a day. But because the response was just so massive for these guys and they sold out so incredibly quickly, Toyfinity is actually doing uh, another launch for the Mangalores that you can pre-order right now. They're going to have another drop uh, coming in, I believe, March or May, what they're doing is they're letting you get the Mangalore standard figure again. And they're also going to be producing another color variant figure along with those, as long as another color variant for the mortals, which we'll go into a little bit later. So you still have a chance to get some of these guys. If you want to pre-order, I would highly suggest going and doing that. It will be ending on Friday the 10th, I believe as well. So you want to get your orders in before then, if you want to secure one of these in a couple months, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Mangalore figures themselves. First up, let's go over the standard version of the Mangalord. All righty, we've got the box here. Let's get it open. Again, haven't checked these guys out in person yet. I am just dying. I can tell this box is incredibly full. Got the packing peanuts. Oh yes. Let's get them all out and I'll go in order on how we look at all these guys. Here is our first look at the standard edition of the classic Mangalord. He looks like Green Goblin, I swear. It's hilarious. He's got the same like tone and everything with all the green and the purple. Let's get him out of here though. A bunch of extra connector pegs and then you also get this little extra eye thing you can add onto it. Okay, let's see him. Wow, this looks pretty freaking sweet. The detail on the face is incredible. That's what really drew me to this one was just how much detail they were able to provide on the figure in total. I mean, just look at that. He is beefy as heck, muscly. He's got scaly stuff. He's got all sorts of crazy wild details. It does have a reverse face as well, which I prefer. I like when they do the reverse faces, but dang, this build, this sculpt, it's incredible. Now you may recognize something similar to this. This is like the extra claw you will get. And I believe this is from the same mold that the O'Neill design drop did with like real X head in the last one. So you may be recognizing a couple of the molds, but for the most part, and I don't know which one is, which molds are new, but I mean, it looks like a lot of these are new custom for Toyfinity. So incredible work on the, the modeling of this guy, guys. Like it, it's, it's really a work of art here. He just looks 
so clean. And again, with that purple and green right on my alley, my two favorite colors right there. So this is just incredible. I haven't even like fiddled around with him. He's got a little bit of movement. Looks like he could use like maybe a connector to bend his arms a little bit more, but he's got a nice, nice motion here, twisting of the arms, the up and down, and then the legs. I mean, look at these calves. These calves are awesome. <laughs> I don't know. They just have like a really good appealing monster look to them, in my opinion. I think they did a phenomenal job. This is cool. This cowl looks super great too. Like this whole cowl can move and come off and be added onto other figures and things. And I just think it's an incredible look for the Mangalord himself. Let's flip the head around. You can take a closer look at that head. That one is just really sick. A more darker look, a more like creepy sinister vibe, I guess you could say, but it's really incredibly sharp. Let's flip them back around though, because I do prefer this head sculpt on this specific color variant. Now there are other ones where I definitely will like the other head, but we will go into those soon, but this is just incredible. Let's throw on the arm just to kind of check out and see how it looks with the giant monster arm thing. I mean, come on, right? That is super, super cool. I love the look of this claw. It's just so amazing on this figure. I think it really works extremely well. I think this whole guy is just super cool. He stands really well. He's a tall figure too. He's like a nice six inch one, which you don't normally get those in Glios. Only certain people actually do the taller figures. I'm really in love with the details on this thing. You don't find the details like this as much either. I think this claw with these like all the muscles and everything is just absolutely stunning. Really, really great work. If we can get a focus here, my camera is wigging out, but I really want to take off this cowl really quick, just so you guys can get a better look at that. And also what's underneath, there's the underneath, just the base by itself. Pop that back on so you can see it without the cowl. He definitely needs the cowl, I think. It, it looks good, but the cowl definitely like completes the figure. Closer look at the cowl. Again, this can slip onto a bunch of different unique Glios figures. The amount of uh, creativity I have been seeing online from people that have got these in, the builds that I have been seeing have been absolutely awesome with these dudes. It's been really cool to see. It's gotten me very excited for all of these. Now let's take a peek at a little color variation to the Mangalord in its primitive version. I was also able to get a little limb pack with my order, so we'll go over and touch on what came in with that as well. Here's the next one. This is a much more subtle color thing. This is the primitive the primitive Mangalord. And as you can see, it's got this really like subtle kind of uh, light brownish purple. And I don't know how much you're gonna pick up on camera. You can see there's brown in his face, but this has got like this off brownish purple and it looks really sick, honestly. I think putting some like nice highlights on this figure on some of the details like the arm pads and stuff, maybe a bright highlight would really make this figure pop even more. And I think it's just a nice good base to go off of if you're into the more custom work of these guys with detailing and painting. But check that out, man. I love I can just stand them up here and you guys can just get a phenomenal view of all that work. Super, super cool. Let's go into the back here and see that. Bang, look at that cowl, right? We'll flip around the head too. Again, this head looks super nice. I think it fits more like on a figure like this with those darker tones. I almost would, could, I think I would still leave it on the other one, but this one's really nice. There, the next figure we look at, I'll definitely be keeping this face on because I think it works really well on that one, but this is just super, super dope. I love the sculpt of that hand too. It's got that nice like kind of curl to it. Uh, the only unfortunate drawback I would say is you don't have hands that can hold other things. They're not fist hands. They're not uh, ones that can grip onto some of your other maybe weaponry or armor from other Glios products. Uh, so you might be able to finagle it and get them to hold, uh, but it's not purposely built for the Glios peg system on the hands itself. I don't mind so much because it is just really cool and really just like, look at that. That's such a cool, like, I'm gonna have fun taking pictures of these. These are awesome. So I would say that is a drawback on that front. I almost wish they had at least one hand you could swap in with a Glio spot to actually have a connector point for weaponry, because I'd love to give these guys some kind of awesome weapon. Maybe a, you know, a skeleton ax would look mighty fine 
with this dude. That would look incredible, honestly. And again, each of the figures come with that extra claw, which is awesome. I'm going to need to get more of these claws because they're just cool not to keep adding and getting. I want, I want one of these guys with a double claw system. I think that looked dope. Really solid figure, and I am a fan of that kind of nulled out color point on this one. I think it works really well, especially in contrast too with both the figures. Speaking of extra hands, here is the limb pack that I got. Now this will include, again, there it is. That's from like the O'Neill Design sculpt. You've got like that claw hand and then you also frick it let's open this up i don't know why i would keep this one sealed anyways i am going to be customizing these guys so here we go we have that head mold from the real x and onel drop that we had recently a really cool mold but i would never replace it with these guys honestly i love these faces and this head sculpt way more but we also have another claw as you can see it's actually different okay so toyfinity actually did do their own kind of claw thing and then this is the one that we actually got in the O'Neill drop so that was my mistake but still both claws I'm sure are going to work great we got this crazy looking shoulder of course it's just going to be looking amazing and then we also have get out of here Mangalord we also have like the lobster claw one which is always fun so let me throw that on this guy pop him in oh yeah oh yes dude that looks so freaking sweet just that looks incredible absolutely incredible that's awesome. So they only were selling the green limb pack, but, 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 but we did get a little extra thrown in here. We did get an extra limb pack with my order, which is phenomenal. Thank you so much, Toyfinity. I really appreciate it because I love, love these arms, man. And this is the color scheme of what we're going to look at next. So let's jump into that. The next one we're going to see is the third Mangalord variant. And the pictures look super, super dope on the website for this one. This is the Mangalosaurian Warrior. I keep forgetting the name of this one. And it's, it's a weird one to pronounce. It's a Mangalosaurian Warrior. Let's pull him out. This is an awesome awesome color choice i gotta say it's very similar to that purple and where it's kind of like more of a muted tone but i think with some added highlights and things it could look just so dope just little touches here and there little highlights boom 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 ah i'm just picturing in my head and that's what i love about glass it kind of just sparks some really nice like creative thoughts were losing arms one of the arms popped off here but i am actually going to put on the claw hand because it's just too cool not to but check that out right oh my gosh mangalosaurian lorian mandalorian warrior we've got that dark brownish red with more of a lighter red and i gotta tell you it just works i like the subtleties here it's got that nice green eyes very very sharp and this is the one where i would definitely flop this around oh this arm keeps falling off oh no his arm keeps falling out quite easily i hope that's gonna be okay for future things but there it is all right what was i saying ah the head yes i want to twist the head and the arm got flipped around so there's the other head side and again looks super dope i love the mold on this head but this is the one where i would just much rather have it on this more darker creepier face because it just looks it works really well with this warrior vibe. He could be like wearing a mask or it could just be some kind of, you know, crazy creature face, alien face. Can't say it enough. These latest drops of Glios have been just off the wall amazing. It's just been so fun to see the development of all the figures and all the new pieces being added, including like these giant claws. Ah, the creatures, the imagination, the creativity that will fly with these guys is just going to be unparalleled man it's gonna be like when uh biomaster did his uh, last drop with all those crazy new pieces and head pieces and creature design oh it's so amazing which by the way biomaster is gonna have another drop too and i'm super stoked for that because he killed it with the last one and toyfinity you guys crushed it with this ah man i love this is the perfect type for me for figures too i like glio size but I'm a six inch boy myself, you know? You gotta have it at least the average size, right? Dick jokes aside, just check that out. I am in love with these calves and thighs. The amount of work and muscle looks so good. I said it already, but I'm gonna keep saying it because it's, it's so good. It's so good. 
I will say this arm is bugging me though. It's falling out quite easily. It's got to stick in there a little bit better. I'm going to try a different arm and see if it uh, holds in a little bit better. So let's grab our extra limb pack. And this is the one that'll match him. Okay, that one clicked in a little bit nicer. Very good, very good. So it must just be something with uh, his main arm. Such a BA figure. This thing is incredible to look at. They're going to have their own devoted spot on the Glio shelf for me because they definitely need it. And I'm definitely getting more of these. I already pre-ordered for that next drop that I talked about. So I'm already going to be getting a few more. Now we got our Mordells. These are pretty interesting. I've eyed these before, like I said at the beginning. Uh, I'm curious to see how these look. These are actually called the Mord Demons in this drop. So lastly, we have this really cool creative idea that goes along with the original Mangalore toy. We have the actual egg, the egg from the commercial that I showed in the beginning. They made the egg as well. Now this is the glow in the dark version. They had a glow in the dark and they had just a regular like off white. I went for the glow in the dark, but on my pre-order, I ended up getting a white one as well because I think it's neat and you could fit these figures inside the egg. Now, I don't have my figures in the egg. We have something else in here. So let's break it open and check out our more demons. Let's go, our little mortals. And these dudes are just little tiny, kind of, you know, cray booth extra figure dudes, if you want to say, except they don't have any posable or bendable things. They are just the little tiny figures, but they remind me of like crazy bones. And uh, you know me, I've got a, I got a lot of crazy bones back here. So I definitely picked up some of these and I would love to get more of them because they have made these in the past as well from Toyfinity. Let's get them out. I love the variety that you get with these guys. Are they a softer plastic? They are like a little bit of a softer squishy. You can kind of move it a little bit. Here they are. We've got this kind of light orange with red for the demon aspect and vibes going on. Again, some really cool variety of just different stances, different poses. I am going to show off all of them. I absolutely love this guy. He's just got those super long like kangaroo legs almost, but looking pretty sweet. I wasn't sure if I was going to like them, but I really do actually. They're quite cool. A couple more versions and they kind of got this derpy aspect to them as well, which is hilarious, but I like them. Another two. And again, they just have these slight differences, slight variations, but it's really unique. And here's the last one, kind of like a pig nose one almost. So you get 10 of these guys all together, which is a very nice, cool lot. I didn't think they were too expensive or anything for 10 of them. And then you can just store them in your little egg, cap this back up, put them on the shelf, display them, do whatever you want. And it's just a really neat thing. It's a good kind of backdrop to the figures themselves as well. If that's going to stay, it's just going to roll. That's fine. But it's just such a neat creative idea to kind of hold and keep your little extra dudes. And again, you can set them by these. You can just do whatever, use a storage. This is like a classic harder plastic as well. You know, it's good. It closes well, it snaps in. It's not gonna shake open or anything. You don't have to worry about that. It's made very well. And it's got a lot of nice textures and everything on it and around it. Here's one last closer look at this amazing drop. It's just phenomenal. I have to smash the 10 out of 10 once again. Uh, <laughs> I would say, the only critical thing I would have to say is the uh, missing hand holding hand for a Glios figure. I would hope that in the future drops, maybe they add something like that, but that would be my only critique. I mean, these guys are absolutely freaking BA as can be and the look and it just gets me excited for more of these guys. And when a drop can do that, like I compare it to the Biomaster drop as well, again, it, when they can get you that excited and that just pumped up for another Glios drop with new figures that you haven't normally seen, like your classic Faden's and stuff, when it's switched up to this degree, it's just amazing. And creatures in Glios work so well. And they have been leaning, all the creators have been leaning into that more. And I can't complain. It's been really, really cool to see. I can't get over it. They're so, so cool. I absolutely dig it. Toyfinity, you guys absolutely crushed it. Great job with these guys. I am so stoked to see the next drop. Again, you only have until the 10th to pre-order for the opposite arch nemesis of this guy, your little proto lord, the opposite of the Mangalord, and to reorder this one as well. Alongside, we've got some proto mortals as well, another color variant for these guys. So 
If you want in on this amazing Glios product by Toeyfinity, make sure you go to the link in the description. It's right here again as well, wherever, and go support and pre-order so you can get it when the next drop comes out. If you're any type of Glios collector or action figure collector, this is definitely worth your time. Please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more Glios content. I love doing these reviews, and if you show the support and the likes, it means that I will do more of them. I really appreciate it, and we will catch you guys in the next video.